how to apologize for your mistakes. Despite our best intentions and efforts, making mistakes is a fact of life. Humans are prone to error, so we are inevitably going to mess up at one point or another, which is why it's so important to learn how to apologize. Many of the slip-ups we make won't have any impact on those around us, but what about the times when they do hurt someone else, either inadvertently or purposefully? Do we ignore the mistake and hope it will go away on its own? Do we confront the mistake, however painful that may be, and apologize? How we react to our mistakes defines both who we are and how we are perceived by others. Welcome to Life Hack Lion, the channel that roars the secrets of life. Make sure to watch this video until the end because we don't want you to miss a thing. And if you don't know us yet, we at Life Hack Lion are specialized in creating life hack ideas, tips and tricks, content that are fun and can absolutely make our lives easier. So how do you apologize effectively? Technically, there is no one right way. But there are plenty of ineffective ways to go about apologizing. I'm going to approach this from the perspective that we are genuinely remorseful and wish to make amends for the hurt we have caused. Simply saying the words I'm sorry is easy, but it's important to match the intention behind your words. Apologizing authentically when you have made a mistake uttering remorse that is grounded in your truth is more complex. And that's what we're going to cover here. In order to make a genuine apology where your words are backed up by your truth and your genuine emotion, I refer to a practice introduced to me by a friend several years ago, the Hawaiian Hoponopono prayer. Now, I'm not an expert in the history of this prayer, but having meditated with it for a number of years, I found that this practice of reconciliation and forgiveness is incredibly powerful. Ho'oponopono means to make right or rectify an error. What sets this prayer apart is the focus not on controlling a particular outcome, but instead the focus is on healing yourself in order to heal the situation. It's profoundly simple and translates as follows. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Everything we need to apologize is right here in this prayer. Let's break down the structure of this apology into these four concrete steps for before, during, and after the apology. Before the apology. Step 1. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Before you start speaking and leading from pure emotion, it's important to actually figure out what you're sorry for. Start by writing down the facts. When you're writing this out, avoid assigning any judgments to the scenario or making any assumptions about the person affected by your mistake. Really stick to straight facts. Dump the whole situation onto the page, not leaving out any little details. Write down your part in making this mistake. Stick to your contribution to the mistake only. Avoid writing about anyone else, even if they were a factor in you making the mistake. Simply focus on what you did that you know helped create the situation. Make sure you actually want reconnection. If you don't feel safe with the person, there's no need to apologize and reconnect. However, if you feel safe and comfortable with them and desire to be connected again, then you can proceed to the next step of the Ho'oponopono prayer. During the apology, step two, please forgive me. You're not going to share everything from your process above with your friend. What you are going to share is your acknowledgement of the hurt caused, your part in creating that situation, and your desire to reconnect. It's also very important to be clear about only speaking your truth and not commenting on their side. That's their job. Once you've shared that, stop talking about yourself. That's all you needed to say to get the conversation started. Start listening and be curious. Ask open-ended questions about their experience like, how did that feel for you? When you do speak, let them know that you hear what they are saying and you acknowledge your impact. Step 3. Thank you. After you've expressed yourself, leave space to see the impact you've had on the person. Understand that the reaction may not be what you are expecting or hoping for. The act of apologizing is about censuring the other person's experience, not about putting the focus on yourself. Now that you have asked the other person about their experience, it is quite possible that they will say things you don't want to hear. You may find yourself feeling defensive or even angry. A stressful situation like this can also trigger fight or flight mode in your body. You may notice that you start sweating, that your pupils are narrowing, that your eyes tear up, 
or you start experiencing tunnel vision. This is all normal. To help stave this off, get genuinely curious about what their experience has been. Don't listen to be right. Listen to be connected and to understand. Thank them for everything they've said and for being in your life. Even if they say something you don't like hearing, thank them anyway for sharing the truth of their experience. This isn't an easy thing to do, but it is a necessary step towards your own healing in the Ho'oponopono prayer. Moving forward after the apology. Let's say you're actually at a place where the relationship you have with the other person can be repaired. I love you encourages curiosity. How can you repair and reconnect? How can things look different moving forward? Think of something you can do to reconnect with each other to express and experience your love, appreciation, or respect for each other. Make a plan for how to move forward. Continuing the practice from step three, make a list of things you are grateful for about the other person. We don't often stop to share how much we appreciate each other and it feels as good to share appreciation and gratitude as it is to receive it. This last portion of the prayer is not just for the sake of the other person your mistake affected, it's for you as well. To ensure you are healing and able to move on from the mistake, it's easy for many of us to beat ourselves up and continue to hold on to guilt or even shame. How about a mistake we have made even though we are genuinely remorseful and have tried to make amends? Continue to repeat the entire Ho'oponopono prayer to yourself after the encounter. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Maybe you will find yourself apologizing to yourself for hurting yourself inadvertently too. When we speak our truth as an apology, we show up fully in our truth without expecting anything from the other person or trying to encourage them to behave in a certain way. While we cannot affect or control the outcome of the apology, no matter how repentant we are, following the Ho'oponopono can guide us to true repair and healing. If you have been stuck on finding the right way to reconnect and apologize to someone in your life, I hope you will find yourself inspired to take that first step to make things right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Lifehack Lion and make sure to hit that notification bell icon to be the first to watch our newest videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next boring Lifehack Lion video.